Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, two days ago we made a video about our brother who is in jail right now and for sure we remember him in our prayer and I hope many of you already did contact your authority if you live in the West so we can do help him as much as we can. And I will make another video soon about this issue. Today our topic is about how smart are they? You know, I never saw a Muslim, he is not a genius. I mean, look at them. <clears throat> when they try to refute me, they are not only they refute me, I mean, come on. I mean, this is, I don't know what, sometimes I don't know what to say. You feel that you are out of words. I mean, look at this. I mean, you know, you can tell those are... Those are the one who will defend Islam. If those are the one who will defend Islam, what about the one who do not know? None of them, he even speak Arabic. And those who speak Arabic don't dare to call us. And those who don't dare to call us, they are the one who speak Arabic. Because simply if they call, they will know it's the end of their career, which is making a lot of money. But I will show you an example of the Muslims, how smart they are. So let us know this together. This is a, a text message we have since uh, two days ago, but I like it and I think I'm going to keep it for every time I go live on air. This is an example of a smart Muslim who he said, and his name EIC. <clears throat> uh, he's saying the Quran says, and we have indeed made the Quran easy to understand. So easy to understand. Any Indonesian can open the Quran, he can understand in two seconds. So why you have those Ustad? As long as it's so easy to understand. And why you have Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, and tens of thousands to explain the verse, and none of, them, none of them agree about the meaning of the verse. Because if they agree, actually, you do not need a second interpretation, and third interpretation, and fourth interpretation. That's one. One is enough. What is the need of the rest? So here you see the smart, intelligent religion. Allah, he explained the Quran, and it's so explained to the point we have to write tens of thousands of explanation to the explained Quran. I mean, do you see how smart this religion is? But here you notice that the one who made the verse is more stupid than the one who was talking about the verse. Because if the Quran is made by Allah, and Allah is saying that he explained the Quran, and yet the Muslim cannot understand the Quran, that means the one who made this verse is an idiot. Which verse you can understand? Which chapter? The same chapter you are posting, if I post it for you, you will die laughing. Shall I go there? Chapter 5, 54, verse number 17. Allah made it so easy. Let us go there, actually. Why not? Chapter 54, verse number 17. But we will go to the chapter first. And see, I mean, the same chapter saying it is so easy to understand how much this chapter can, you know, can be mean anything. Look at this. Look at this stupidity. Oh, sorry, this is in Indonesian now. I, I was practicing my skills in Indonesian because, as you know, I am the same as Ali. He speaks 70,000 languages. Se sorry, 70 millions? I forgot the number already. The Hadith of the Shia. And it's getting old, you know. So like he speaks like 70 million languages. You know, I speak 69.999 million languages, not 70 million, sorry. I mean, Ali, he beat me. So the gun, the gun, the ga, Allah, yaha, maha, bahu. Okay, whatever. Let us switch to the, to the English one, otherwise we will get dizzy. Excuse me, Indonesian people, but I have no idea what it says there. Talaha dakat datanik dadakan sati dubuha talaha tarabilaha bulan. What the heck, Bulan? Okay, what happened now? I mean, how in the world there's a God? He starts saying that the judgment day is near and the moon is split. And this is 1400 years ago. Actually, it doesn't say even judgment day is near. It says, It's in the corner. And the moon splitting is a sign of the judgment day. But there's no judgment day. Here we go. Anyone can explain to me what is the purpose of this one? 
And who is the, who is the one who split the moon? You ask the Muslim, who is the one who split the moon? They say it's Muhammad. Wait, 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 it says Muhammad. They say it's Allah. Wait, wait, it says Allah. I mean, do you see how easy it is? Right away, he start moon split, judgment day is coming. And that's it. No hello, no how you doing, no introduction, what happened? Like Muhammad maybe was standing, and people, they say to him, hey, hey can you split the moon? Muhammad, he posed his finger at the moon, he gave him a finger, and the moon split. And by the way, Abdul, if the moon split, you know, you remember there's a there's a channel. Uh, he's a genius, you know. He make videos to refute me supposedly. He said the reason nobody noticed that this is not historian wrote about it because it happened for a few seconds only. That's deep. It happened only for a few seconds, my friend. A few seconds or a few years. The whole world should see it. I mean, at least the one who is facing the night time. Did it happen in the night time or in the daytime? <laughs> so anyway, uh, when they say uh, uh, that this is a book which is explained, and then we go and read the book, and we find there's no even a purpose of this book. I mean, what is the purpose of this chapter? Who is the one who split the moon? And where is the judgment day? And what is the relation between splitting the moon and the judgment day? Like, is the moon still there? So do we have two moons now? Because if the moon is split, we should have two moons until now. The Muslim, they post a picture for you from NASA. They say, see, there's a crack. It's idiot. This is a valley. We have, a, we have the Grand Canyon. It's bigger. It's a valley, valley. This is not the earth. is a split. The earth is not. Did Allah glue it together after he split it? Because it says, in shaqqa al-khamar. Anyway, so if we read, you know, and you know, look what, look at this. What is this? And we need, uh, you know, okay. Uh, then he called on his Lord, I am overcome, though help me. So we open the gate of heaven with water pouring forth. Okay, well, hold on. We start with the moon splitting, then we jump to Noah. What is the relationship? Any Muslim can tell me? Like, was the mean? Uh, uh, by the way, when you say uh, the moon is split and judgment day is near, we don't even know who's saying that. And this is is that is that in the story of Noah? Otherwise, why Noah is there? Right away, he jumped to speak to about Noah. So if you read it, you will think that this is Noah talking. And this is what happened to Noah. Where it says Muhammad? How we will know this is happening to who, where, how, when? So anyway, and now Noah, uh, by the way, there's a guy he says in, in the, his name is uh, the same guy, the same genius guy. He said this, what kind of God he killed thousands of people? So the flood of Noah was what? <laughs> Abdul. <laughs> Sodom and Gomorrah was what? This is written in your Quran, you idiot. We are just reading it. What kind of God he killed thousands of people, huh? I mean, this Abdul, he follow a machine of killing, a rape, and he is a question the God of the Bible. What kind of God he do that? What kind of God? Hmm? And here you notice that those people, they are highly intelligent, intelligent those who defend Islam. Uh, sex slavery in the Bible, look, look, look. I mean, the whole Quran is about more than half of your wife, mistress, they call them wives. They are slaves. They are kidnapped from their husband. Look at this coward. Look. You see the hypocrisy? Open the book of Musnad Ahmad. You will see the rules how to buy a slave. How to check her private part. What you can touch, what you cannot touch. And if you touch, you have to buy her. Open. The Quran says, whatever you own by your right hand possess. So a Muslim Abdul is desperate. Okay, well, you know, let's, let us try to make the Bible look bad. And, you know, okay, the, there is a slavery in the Bible. Hmm, okay. Well, the whole nation of the Jews has been taken as a slave. And, you know, Moses, you, you Muslims, you, you, you post even the words of Moses, which is coming to him from God, about eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. They enslaved them, he enslaved them back. They killed their children, they killed their children back. They attacked them, they attacked them back. 
But the question is, Muhammad, he was attacking whom? People who never attacked him. He is a filthy man. So when a Muslim they try to def, you know to defend, we find it very like and like human trafficking. Look at this a human trafficking in the Bible. Uh, you, uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did Muhammad exchange Safiya for seven heads or eight sex slaves after they kill all the family of those women in her tribe? And the Bible have sex trafficking and human trafficking. Did your prophet, one of his name is Ba'i or Abid, the one who sells slaves? So here you see the hypocrisy of those idiots who they are so desperate to defend their religion. Now we go to another Abdul. And now for sure if we want to go over this, uh, the Quran is so easy to understand, Allah explain it, where it says that, you know, we will see that this is very stupid because there is no explanation of anything. First of all, who is Nuh? You know, when the Quran says Nuh, who is Nuh? Any Muslim can tell me? Just to show you how stupid this book, this book, because it's a theft from the Bible, most of the story are a story from the Bible, we cannot find anything about, okay, who is Nuh? This guy Noah, who is Noah? Any Muslim can tell me who is Noah? Okay, forget about Noah, who is Ibrahim? Which is Abraham supposedly? The Quran sometimes says Abraham, sometimes say Ibrahim, and then you uh, print of the Quran, they make it Ibrahim, all of it. <laughs> they took Abraham. <laughs> Anyone can tell me who is Ibrahim in the Quran? Who is this guy Ibrahim? Where he was? Where he was born? Who is his father? If you go in the Quran, you will see a very stupid statement saying that there is a guy. His name is Ibrahim. His father, his father, his name is Azar. Look, like, Azar. You idiot. Who is this Ibrahim? Azar. Hmm. Let us laugh together. Chapter 6, verse number 74. The idiot Muhammad, he was listening to people who they are quoting the story of Ibrahim or Abraham that Abraham, he said to his family, this is foolish to worship idols. The stupid Muhammad, he thought that the name of the father of Muhammad is foolish. He do not know what Azar mean. Azar is an Aramaic word. So the idiot, he thought that when Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, he is saying his father's name is Azar. <laughs> If you replace the word foolish with the whole sentence, you will see it makes sense because there's nobody will say like, so he said to his father, as or why he had many fathers. I mean, do we need to add the name after the word father? You know what I mean? Why he, why it says he said to his father, as or why he had two fathers, maybe four, maybe five. Simply, he's saying to him, this is foolish. And the foolish Abdus, they took the word foolish and they make it the name of the father of Abraham. So do you see how smart this religion is? Starting from Muhammad, by the way. Because Muhammad himself do not know what is that. He caught what he heard from somebody. There is a story of two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two slaves who they are from, uh, they are Assyrian from Iraq. And they speak Aramaic, and they were the one who was telling him stories. So he caught the name, he the word from there, and he put it in the Quran. Do you see how genius Muhammad is? Hmm. And then you continue. This is the same chapter he chose for us, by the way. We are not choosing different chapter. All right. I mean, sorry, we are now chapter six. If you go down here. You will see Abraham, suddenly he worship uh, stars and moons and sun. Abraham, Abraham is a pagan person, according to the Quran. But isn't it the Quran it says Allah forgive not the one who does worship someone beside him? If you say to me, if you repent, and then that Allah will forgive him, that's mean the verse is wrong. Uh, guys, do you understand what I'm saying?
if the Quran saying that Allah he forgive not those who associate with him other person that's mean Allah will forgive not we convert to Islam you don't for convert to Islam doesn't mean that's it it says Allah he forgave everything except associating with him so if somebody was associating with Allah and he convert to Islam then this verse is stupid if Allah forgive him because it says Allah forgive everything and remember Allah will forgive only for the believers you know the forgive does not go for us you know what I mean so when he say Allah forgive everything except what supposedly in Arabic is a shirk and Muslims are mushrikeen because they are the one who associate Muhammad with Allah and everything so if you take a partner with Allah well Allah will never forgive you the verse is so clear so Abraham you will go to hell Muhammad you will go to hell Muhammad was entered the age of 40 worshiping idols and we can show it from the Quran all the Muslims who converted to Islam they was worshiping idols and they are still entering now kissing black stone may Allah bless her she is in the shape of a vagina if there is any Muslim he have anything to say please let us know don't forget to invite your friends and don't forget to give us a like if you like it and dislike if you don't like it all right and you know like you know and don't forget to make a comment I mean you watch the video uh, why what you will lose if you post that are you you know okay why people are so cheap cheap in everything cheap in comment cheap in calling you know to defend this poor guy in Indonesia cheap in I don't want to mention Indonesia don't even talk about it they, they are cheap even in posting comment so don't you have an opinion don't you have something to say you watch something about God debate argument you heard nothing you, you did not use your brain you don't want to make a comment to say your mind you agree you disagree cheap so then this verse obviously is a stupid verse but just to show you a very clear example of the stupidity of the of the Quran if you go in the Quran we will find tons of verses endless verses have no meaning but just to show you the verses which have meaning because even the verses which has meaning is a stupid all right chapter 5 verse number 3 as an example look how how look how look the translation I mean the Muslim they try to translate the Quran they, they write an article to translate a verse forbidden for you for okay why the Muslims why is forbidden for you you remember the, the guy he said to us the Quran is so easy and explained in details okay why suddenly if you okay if you if you read the verse before it and the verse after it there's nothing to explain okay why why it's forbidden for us those things why it's forbidden to eat the swine as an example any Muslim can tell us you go in the Bible you will find details about what to do what not to do and why here why okay and the meat of that which has been slaughtered as sacrifice to other than Allah well hold on that is a stupid statement because Muslims are allowed to eat the food of the Christians and the Jews <laughs> oh boy if it's forbidden if it's forbidden to eat food which is and like let us say meat for someone slaughtering for in the name of other God what is your God is the God of the Jews is he like Elohim is he Adonai is he uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, I am who I am. Is he Jesus? Is it, nobody slaughter in the name of Allah between us. So why you allow them to eat our to eat our food? Idiot. And here you see how stupid the Quran again. Because if you are saying that the Christians are worshipping someone beside Allah, and that make them associating two, like one false god with a real god, and then you say to them, uh, don't, don't eat those who, uh, who slaughter in the name of other god. Well, so how you allow them to eat the food of the Christians? Any Muslim can explain? Stupidity is amazing. And this is why when the Muslim, they go in the street and they say, we want to buy halal food, this is a joke. Because every Muslim is allowed to eat a slaughter of a Christian. Do you see the hypocrisy and stupidity? There's two sides of it. Hypocrisy and stupidity, because the Quran says you can eat whatever the Christians eat. And here we ask ourselves, if the Quran says you can ever eat whatever the Christian eat, it's for it's it's lawful for you. Then you can eat whatever they eat, even if it's pork. A Muslim scholar he will try to explain. He says, Yeah, it says that, but what we understand it is except if it's forbidden. <laughs> Well, here it says, <laughs> does it say here, except what Allah forbid in the verse? Did Allah forget to put it there? Are you saying that Allah, he forgot to say to you, I allow you only what is allowed to you to eat from the people of the book, food, doesn't say that. And remember here, there's two parts of the verse. Here, that's the guy, he says, pure meat. This is false. This is not, you know, it's, it says, at at which means taste good. The tasty. Hmm? Tayyib mean, uh, you know, like it can be for food. When you put it for food, uh, it can be even for male and female. Uh, as an example, just to show you another example, just remind me of a verse in the Quran, so we can love, where uh, the Quran mentioned this statement again. Chapter 24, verse number 26. Here you see a clear example of the stupidity of the author of the Quran. So not only the one who followed the Quran must be really idiot. Because can't you see? How, okay, who here, who is a Muslim don't see that this is a stupid statement? Take your time to read it. Who is here with us? He, he, he don't agree that this is a stupid statement. Any Muhammadan? Anyone understand why this reverse is stupid? It's not only stupid, it's, this is, it's if even a donkey will not come with such a thing. Because here it says, al lil The bad ones, the bad people, the bad women, they will marry bad men. Are you sure? Yes, brother. Who said that the Quran? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. Look, by the way, the keyboard now is working because I order a new one. <laughs> Each time I come to write, it stopped working. Now I order a new one. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I'm really old. All right. So, guys, the, the verse says that Allah, he make a destiny that bad women marry bad men and good women marry good men. 
So what we will do with this verse, Abdul? When it says there are two prophets, one of them is Nuh or Noah, and the other one is Lut. And both of them, their wives betray them. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you see the stupidity? Did you notice with me the stupidity? Who, who did not know, who didn't understand yet what I'm talking about? Look, let us go slowly. Slowly we go. This is special special episode, slowly episode for the Abdul. Common urine is taking effect. Bad look look at look at look see, look at the stupid translation by the statement. What about the statement? You know where it says the statement, you donkey idiot. Where is the word stated meme from? Which translation is that? Statement Hilali Khan statement. Bad the statement. But this is about people. What bad the statement? And if it's bad the statement, what does it have to do with the, with the word after bad statement are for bad people? What the heck? And now he tried to fix it. He says between two bracket, or bad women for bad men. Like what the heck? <laughs> what does statement have to do with this? <laughs> oh. Let us change the translation, and you will find a new Quran appear in a miraculous way. Just change the translator. Uh, simple as that. Don't change anything. Huh? Look at this. There's no bad statement no more. It's gone. <laughs> no, sorry. I cannot take calls now. It's night time. At night time, I don't like to take calls because we will scream and the neighbors will be upset. Uh, women impure for men impure look at this idiot too look at this idiot he fix it impure what the heck does that mean i mean there's a human being is a pure and the human being is not a pure what what where does translation look? and the women impure are for men impure and men impure for men impure and women for purity for men priority and men for priority are for women priority like what the heck all of this in one verse. I mean, how many times the word impure, brotherly, pure, 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 pure? Who made this translation? This is Yusuf Ali. Change Yusuf Ali. You will see a new Quran right away will appear. Impure, purity, brotherly, brother, 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 brother. Okay, let us see a different one. Uh, Shakir, Shakir, Shakira. Shakira is the best. Forget about the rest. She can make better Quran and you can love it. And you shake uh, your head and say in Turkish, Aman Rabbi Aman. And clean things are for unclean ones. Like, what the heck? What? Unclean things? What is the word unclean? This is about a human being, it's about the females. So, unclean, the females are things? لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالبطي. Female became any clean thing. Well, she is a TV. I mean, in Islam, woman, she is she is a thing. So, any clean things for any clean ones. Look at this genius. I mean, do you see how, how they understand the Quran? What is the guy who said that? Uh, the Quran is made so easy to understand. <laughs> so easy to understand. Okay, so it's so easy to understand to come to the conclusion that unclean things for unclean ones and those are women. So suddenly, the wife she became unclean things. And look, unclean things are. Hmm. Change the translator. Should we change the video name and call it a change the translator? Let us go to a different one. Sahih International. I like the word Sahih. Now, now you see, the name of the translator is Sahih, which means correct. The Muslim, they will say this is not correct translation. <laughs> like Al Bukhari. It's a Sahih Bukhari. It's Daif. It's Sahih Muslim. It's Daif. 
evil words for evil men, women they became words here. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالفلافل. Khairuddin, don't change the topic, Khairuddin. This is different, you know. Awliya, you're an idiot. No, Awliya is a friend and everything. And if you are saying to me it's a wrong translation, that's mean your prophet is a stupid too, because I can show you the hadith. You're an idiot like the rest. So look, the women they became wards. I mean, come on, all of us we like to marry wards. Evil wards for evil men? And evil men for evil words? And good words are for good men? <laughs> and good men are? <laughs> but this is about women and men. What words? What is the guy he said the Quran is so easy to understand? This is about women. There's nothing there about words. We change the translator again. Uh, we go to Khattab. Khattab. This is from Afghanistan. And now he is a refugee. He was a translator. Look, what the heck? The word, the word, look. First, it was a statement. Then became evil things. Then became evil words. And now wicked women. So beautiful. Finally, there's a guy, he said, it's about women, wicked men, women for wicked men. So why do others, they are saying words, tomato, potato, falafel, things, evil things for evil ones. But is women our things? They can't even explain a simple verse in their stupid Quran. They can't even translate it. That's why I'm working the translation. Just wait for my translation. So now look at this verse. As long Allahi destiny that wicked women, they are going to marry wicked men. That's mean nobody should divorce. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> That's mean if you are a good person, your wife she will be a good person, then you will have a good family. So what's wrong then? <laughs> Same time we just showed you a verse in the Quran saying that Prophet Noah and Prophet Lut, they were doing boom, boom in the back of their husband. The Muslim, they say, no, it says, it doesn't mean they are doing boom, boom. It says, betray them. Eh? They betray them by doing what? Eating chicken? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let us say they were betraying them by stealing food from the refrigerator. But that means Noah is bad. And Lut is bad, and those both are prophets in Islam. Correct? So, do you see the stupidity? How you say in the other verse that Allah He destiny or make a destiny that bad women marry only bad men and good men marry good women only? And not only that, we are not done. What about Aisha and, uh, and Hafsa and the rest of the women who they made a strike against Muhammad? Even the Quran says which means they became kuffar and they made a strike against Muhammad they throw tomato and potato at his door <laughs> and Allah he threatened them if they don't behave Allah will say Allah, Allah will come and Jibreel and the jihadi and Isis and Al-Qaeda and the police of Indonesia police of Indonesia will be there right away come on hello they have to protect the Prophet from two women, they are five foot tall. If it's better of your wives, both of them turn to Allah in repentance. But just, 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 did you see? It says that those women, they have to repent. They are bad. But the Quran just said that bad women, they marry bad men. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Muhammad is a bad man. If bad women marry bad men, and bad men marry uh, and good men marry good women, it's, it's not me who said that. Your Quran, your Quran. 
Shuku on, bro. And the funny thing is, you know, you remember the girl, her name is Dexar? She made a comment, I cannot find it. She said, you are lying about everything. I'm like, you idiot. I'm showing everything in the screen. And you can go and read every interpretation for those verses. You will see it's exactly what I'm saying. Bad women for bad men. Allah, he made a destiny that bad women marry bad men. Okay. So Allah, he made destiny bad men for bad women. <coughs> and good women, they marry good men. How correct that news is. Ah, now the keyboard is not working. Uh, now it's working. You know those Mac ninety nine dollars, one hundred forty nine dollars for for the for the keyboard. Can you believe it? How big thieves they are! What a thieves!